that goes in. Oh, here's, here's another picture of the hill. Ah, yeah. Here's uh, research where I work. This is where they had to have submarine engines up there for some reason they were testing. An engineering building. And here's the bowl area. The CKL-1. That's where I said I could get when I first worked, when I went up to work there. And then here's... Go down this road. And here's Coco. That, that was a big hydrogen engine. And it's Delta. This is where we had the Lance program. And this is a pond here. And there's a pond. This is SETF. This is where I worked here. And here's where that atomic reactor plant was. And here's where we stored the uh, 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 oh, sodium. That was right adjoining our area here. And then, it, then the burn pit was up. You went up this road here and right up in here is where they burned all that sodium. And it would, the clouds at night would come down and float across our facility. They, they burned all the, uh, the sodium? The radioactive sodium, yeah. Wow. They took, the, took like t two or three of those drums up on the hill. And as a matter of fact, I was talking to my wife's daughter, Shirley, the other day, and she said that four of the firemen that did that work, they all died from cancer. No okay. Well, I don't doubt it. I mean, they were the firemen. That was their job, see? Yeah. And but they didn't know that that would cause that. At first, we didn't know what the hell was going on there. And in fact, it was being kept quiet. Edison was getting power from there, and it was going down into Simi Valley. Edison was involved in it, too. And uh, of course, then when they had a melt, they had they had more than one reactor. They had this one main reactor which supplied power to Simi Valley, which was according to the law, it wasn't even supposed to be there. Now, how the hell they cover up something like that? I don't know. What did the law say about it? It just says it was just too close to people, or like oh yeah, yeah, uh, and the, and the, and then it to compound the. The, the problem to have a have a meltdown and cover it up that was another thing was that you know that, that didn't just go to the ground it went in the air were they also and here we are work? working in it so were they also routing the uh, the power to Moore Park or just Simi Valley just, for, it just basically it said Simi Valley and Edison was involved in it and then. Another thing was, like I said, about the water being contaminated. We were, we were using water out of the wells up there to drink and, and do a stuff with. They had to come up and build two great big, you know, these water tanks we got around here now. Well, they built two of those up there so we could have water. Well, you, you know what? It's just like the chemicals. We knew it had a meltdown a, a, a while after. Well, I knew it because I went in there and helped clean it up. But uh, for some reason or other, the, the word never got around very much on the hill. The Thomas International is just a subsidiary of Rocketdyne. And so uh, somehow they kept it quiet. But uh, um, then even when the people found out about it, like us guys working up there, we never thought nothing about it. Because nobody said, you know, at that time, the radioactive activity wasn't except for the atomic bomb that how that affected those people well, we thought that was a different kind of radioactivity